In this video, I want to discuss the main results of the paper Are Emily and Greg more employable than Lakisha and Jamal? The paper was written by Bertrand and Mulan Nathan. We are here in the American Economic Association website where you can download the paper for free. If you go down, you can also download for free the data set. The authors didn't make available the code to replicate the tables, but it's not hard to reverse engineer this paper. This is the first and the main table of the paper. This is the column for callback rate for interview for white names. And this is the column for callback rate for interview for African American names. These two columns, they are comparing the callback rate between white and black people. This first row restrict the sample to all sent resumes. The callback rate for white people is 90.65% and for black people is 6.45% and this ratio is 1.5. That means for each 10 curriculum vitae that white people send to get the interview, black people need to send 15 CVs. And this 50% difference is statistically significant. This difference represents 3.2 standard deviations, and the p-value is virtually zero. If you break the sample in different ways, for example, only curriculum vitae sent to Chicago or Boston, or only females, the results are the same. Black people need to send 50% more curriculum vitae than white people. As I said before, this is the main result of the paper. And this is just a simple descriptive statistics why these results are so powerful. If you go to Google Scholar, you can see that this paper has almost 5,000 citations. If you type the word discrimination in Google Scholar, the second item return is the economics of discrimination, written by Gary Becker, Nobel Prize in Economics. This book has 12,000 citations. Usually books they have far more citations than technical papers because they are more accessible. The next item is the paper Detecting Discrimination. It was written by Heckman, Nobel Prize in Economics, and it has 1,200 citations. And the next item is the classical The Theory of Discrimination of Kenneth Arrow. It's a Nobel Prize in Economics as well. Uh, this article was cited 3,371 times. My question is, why this paper was published in the highest journal in economics and it has the highest impact in the literature of discrimination? The answer is in the title of the paper. This is an experiment. Experiment is like a diamond in a social science. The great innovation of this paper is that they figure out a clever way of randomized race Resumes are randomly assigning African-American or white sound names. The point is that you cannot change, manipulate race in the real world. But in the paper, in the curriculum, you can randomize race. And this result here, white names receive 50% more callbacks for interview. This is a causal effect. When you are in observational study, you really don't know if the callback rate of white people is higher because, for example, they have a higher level of education or experience. But look to the variable college degree. 72% of white people, they have college degree. And this proportion is the same for African American. Let's see years of experience. White people has 7.86 years of experience and black people 7.83. And this is the product of randomization. Control group and the treatment group are identical on average. Therefore, experiment automatically eliminates all confound factors. 